We are on the uh, west side of Seneca Lake today in Penyan, and we're going to Fox Run Vineyard. If ever there was a double threat uh, in uh, the winemaking industry in New York State between an owner and a winemaker, it's Fox Run. Peter Bell has been the winemaker here for quite a long time, and again, one of the most versatile uh, winemakers. He can make you everything from a very palatable, easy-drinking wine to some of the most sophisticated wines made in the state. And he is equally matched by Scott Osborne, the uh, primary owner of Fox Run. Just a tremendous guy, super smart businessman, bought Fox Run when it was just a little nothing winery and has turned it into the one of the mega powers uh, in the Finger Lakes. Uh, his wines are, um, I think they're in something like 40 plus states around the country. Uh, they're just doing everything right at the uh, Fox Run. And you've got to want to try these wines and uh, couldn't happen from two better guys. So I'm going to tell you all about it. You're going to have a great time tasting with us. Come on down. Today we're at Fox Run. Rich Sersich and I tried to go incognito, but it failed. There are two men whom I seek advice from when it comes to East Coast wine business. Scott Osborne is one of those two. He is one of the smartest and most accomplished owners in New York State. Scott Osborne, a Rochester native, studied abroad in Kenya, India, Thailand, Japan, and England. He worked in real estate in Lake County, California, then started working in California wine. He worked at Firestone Vineyards, Zaka Mesa, and Byron Winery. He moved east in 1985, working for a wine distributor and then general manager of Pindar Vineyards on Long Island. He bought Fox Run in 1994. On Christmas Day of 1998, Scott married his longtime sweetheart, Ruth Warden. Scott has turned Fox Run from a small winery into one of the most widely distributed quality wine brands produced in New York State. Scott is currently working to reduce the environmental impact of the winery, and he has served as president of the Seneca Lake Wine Trail and is a founding member of the New York Wine uh, industry Association. One of the best decisions Scott made was to hire Peter Bell. Peter brings a science-based rationalist approach to winemaking. Peter has uh, made wine for more than 25 years. Uh, he works closely with the vineyard manager John Kaiser who has worked the land at Fox Run since 1984. And of course he has the trustworthy and experienced assistant winemaker Lindsay Van Curen who has been with Fox Run since 2012. Bell studied enology in Australia and made wine in New Zealand before landing in the Finger Lakes. He was the winemaker at Dr. Constantine Frank's Vinifera Wine Cellars for five years before joining Fox Run in 1995. In addition to making wines at Fox Run, he also helps out at other area wineries, holds an adjunct faculty position at Cornell University, and speaks at numerous wine conferences throughout the year. He is one of the most influential winemakers in the state. Bell regularly hosts tasting groups for winemakers in the Finger Lakes region. Someone once asked me, what's the big deal about Peter Bell? It's this simple. He has been the most helpful winemaker in the Finger Lakes and has mentored dozens of winemakers in the region and around the state. He's funny, erudite, and a damn good winemaker, and he plays a mean banjo. Accomplished Constellation Brands winemaker August Emil once quipped that he, like many others, had attended the school of Peter Bell. Scott and Peter have made a formidable team for 25 years. Luckily for us, Scott Osborne was just sitting around doing nothing and he was very thrilled to give us a tasting. The first wine Rich and I tried was the Kaiser Vineyard Chardonnay, an incredible cool climate barrel fermented Chardonnay, a lovely lean light wine filled with green apple and mineral notes but with a light touch of oak. Beautiful, elegant, complex, well balanced, truly an international wine. Wonderful. Scott then poured the Sylvan Riesling. It was immediately one of our favorite wines of the tasting. He was very proud of it and rightfully so. I'm going to let him tell you the story of this wine. So this is our Sylvan Riesling. This is a, a wine that, that Peter and I decided to do about three years ago. We, uh, it's barrel fermented. 
in old, old oak barrels that are at least seven to 10 years old. And uh, we put the wine in there and ferment it for about 18 days, which is just the end of fer fermentation, so it's dry. Uh, and what, it does, what the fermentation does is, uh, and by pulling it out of the barrel, we still retain a lot of the fruit character but we develop a mouthfeel that barrel, uh, barrels are no, notorious for. We're developing that elegance and mouthfeel that we, uh, we really enjoy. And then this Riesling is perfect for that. So. Next, we tried Tierce, a collaboration project between Fox Run Vineyards, Anthony Road Wine Company, and Red Newt Cellars. Peter was one of the founding winemakers of this multi-winery project and worked on this vintage with Peter B. Kraft of Anthony Road and Kelby Russell of Red Newt. The new Tierce was excellent, a dry Riesling with incredible depth and flavor, truly shows what the region produces, a world-class wine. Next was the dry Riesling, again a big green apple wine with lots of lychee and a hint of petrol, some lovely floral notes. Very pretty, but um, I'd rather let my friend and former co-worker Oz Clark, uh, who just raved about it recently, tell you about it. Mm. That's lovely. 2017 is a cool year, but it had a lovely, a lovely late fall. September, October, even into November, it was beautifully warm. The wine is delicate, just a hint of sweetness, but, but that's delightful. It's a little bit like lemon flower sweetness. Really, really lovely. The Dry Rosé was a very pretty fruit forward wine with big nose of fresh cut strawberries and light red raspberries. Creamy middle, impressive zippy ending, beautifully well balanced and refreshing. E. K. Hu is their unoaked Cabernet Franc. Big, fresh, ripe cherry and dark raspberry lead the attack on this stainless steel wine. Great tannins, well-balanced, easy drinking, great mouthfeel. A superfood wine bought more than a few bottles of this one. The Cabernet Franc Lemberger was also a pretty red that had great red stewed fruit and terrific acidity. A wonderful food wine, versatile, easy drinking. Taking a nod from the brown spirits industry, Scott and Peter launched a line of single barrel wines, Chardonnay, Lemberger, and Cabernet Franc that have proven a success, incredibly smart and clever. Last but certainly not least was the Fox Run Fine Old Tawny Port, a big, unctuous, fortified wine aged five to 10 years, big, big mouthfeel, big, big notes of caramel, figs, dates, maple syrup, absolutely outstanding, worth every penny, and uh, just a tremendous wine. Quite a place, isn't it? The wines are great. I can't say thank you enough to uh, Peter and uh, to, especially to Scott Osborne, who spent all the time with us uh, necessary. And uh, it was a great stop. The wines were great. Uh, just spectacular reds, uh, really just sensational whites. And that uh, that port is just something you got to try. Um, and the good news is you can find them on a lot of shelves uh, around the uh, country. That's the good news about it. And uh, But it, more exciting is when you come on by. So uh, have fun. Talk to you later. Well, that's it for this edition of the Great American Winery Stroop Waffle. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you'll come back soon. And in the meantime, drink local.